Guys, one month ago, I bought this military Humvee and attempted to drive it 1,500 miles home to Kansas. The problem is we failed, but now we are back in Cedar City, Utah. We've got upgrades to do to it, and we are going to continue to drive it all the way back to Kansas. Will we make it? Hmm, probably not. <laughs> I'm not sure we can do this. Last time we went to Home Depot for our roof. It worked pretty well, but the windows, um, they were getting ready to fly through and get ready to hit us into the face as we drove down the interstate, but we're getting a little fancier with it this time. Ta-da! Convertible Humvee again. Now all we gotta do is start putting back better stuff on it. So what I'm thinking is we'll lift it up, you walk over there, I'll walk over here. Dude, this is legit. That's good. Oh yeah, that's not good. That's off by a lot. See, look, the windshield on this side. Things are getting serious. I'm gonna watch your YouTube video. Taking you cut a half inch off oh, of the vehicle shit. itself and reinstall. What do you say? For modification. We gotta shorten this roll bar a half an inch for the roof to fit right. We definitely screwed that up. What are we naming this thing, by the way? This thing does need a good name. Fred! Fred the Humvee. Dude, Fred's a good name. It's a terrible you name. Say Fred's a bad name, they come up with Bertha. Bertha? Bertha? Fred is a sophisticated name for sophisticated gentlemen that like to go root and party. She looks pretty f fat to me. Okay, let's set this up right now. Boom. Trying to get it in. Seems like a you problem. Hey, uh, pick it up. One, two, three. Dude, look at that. Pretty bad. All right, let's grab the roof. See how the roof fits now. If I pull down on it, there's no longer a gap. It's no, fine. Like this is good. It's a lot better. It's good. It's Dude, what is wrong with no? It do, I don't know. Humpty. We are not calling it Humvee Dumpty. <laughs> Her name is Fred. Damn it. It does kind of sound cool though. I like that. Humvee Dumpty. Oh, sir. You'll see how good our door is. We got the hinges on the doors, but let me show you a problem here. There's nothing to mount them to. This is time for Redneck Science. Let's do it. It's been a long time. It is now dark, and you might want to know how many doors we have on the Humvee. Yeah, we don't have any, but you give us another 30 minutes and we'll have it put together. All right, guys, we got a little crazy last night, but the Humvee is done. All we gotta do is put the tire on it and we are ready to rock and roll. We got one spare and uh, hopefully the rest of these tires make it. Boom. She is ready to rock and roll. Now we've got an aired up tire, we've got a roof, we got windshields, we got doors. Took a little longer than we thought it would, but She's officially ready for the road trip. We'll let her warm up and we'll get the hell down the road. And we're ready to go, baby! We worked on it for two days, but we're finally ready to go. So I guess we should just hit the interstate, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, sounds good. Let's see how the old Humvee still runs. Okay, so the game plan is as of right now, we are leaving Utah. Then we're gonna go to Colorado. We might find some place to go off-roading there, maybe camp, and uh, try to make it all the way home to Kansas. Fingers crossed, we'll see if we make it. It's already overheating, it says 240, but I'm just gonna ignore the gauge, let's send it. Is it actually overheating or what? The gauge is just mildly optimistic that we're just a little bit too hot, is the thing. Is it accurate or is it lying? I don't f know, does it look like I know? I don't know what I'm doing, I'm driving a Humvee but all the way back from Utah to Kansas. Come on Humvee! Oh shit, she is sending it! Come on baby, let's go! So, we've made it our first little jaunt of our trip. Let's see how far it is. 1,084 miles, point one. This is gonna be a long trip. Dude, I want to leave this thing here so bad and just have it shipped. But no, everybody's like, where's the Humvee at? Did you go get the Humvee yet? Are you gonna go get the Humvee? So here I am, I'm getting the Humvee. Are you guys happy? It is kinda cool though. Oh yeah, go out on the unlock some more horsepower. He's like, oh, go past us! What do you think I'm trying to do? We broke down the place kind of like this. The problem was the first time we got 
<laughs> yeah, this ain't dangerous. We're not even at five gallons yet, and it's already over 20 bucks. Humvees are thirsty. So, we stopped at Harbor Freight, bought some jerry cans. We'll do them both because I know that we're going to run out of fuel eventually. Yeah. It's like we're resupplying for a Call of Duty mission. Where's my cab package? They didn't give you a slide of hand. Yeah. There ain't nothing to right. stop a Humvee. Okay. How about them flat oh. tires? Hey. I feel it now. Fred is going to make it all the way back to Kansas. Are you telling me Humvee Dumpty's going to make it to Kansas? Holy Fred. Crap. She may not be referred to as Humvee Dumpty. She's either Fred or Frederick. Humvee Dumpty is like a brilliant name for that thing. You can always bring it. We're going radio silence after this. This is this is bullshit. I'm going Fred one moving out. Bye. Right, I'm turning that off. Fred is so damn good. She's gonna make it all the way to Kansas, and she can drive all the way back to California if she wanted to. Anyway, we're losing the tire. I can feel it. Humvees have run flat tires on them. I guess we're gonna see how far that run flat can go. Oh, God, she sounds bad, though. There ain't no place to pull off on this. This is 60. Oh. Damn it. Fred, it's not Fred's fault. Just Fred's shoes are a little bit beat the f up. This is a really bad place to stop. Hold on. That didn't go to according to plan. Dude, this is the worst place in the world to change a tire. We got two options. We can either sneak it down there, or we can tilt the trailer up real quick, load on the trailer, and take it down there. But this is a terrible place to try to load it, too. Really for either option. Let's try to take it slow. Get on to the right, get on to the right, get on to the right. Dang it, Fred, I, I, this doesn't mean we failed. This just means we've had a minor setback. So we're gonna drive it the entire distance from California to Kansas, minus probably like 20 miles. All right, Fred, don't you worry, we're gonna get you fixed up. I'm gonna be dumpty. Hey! Okay. I'm not gonna tell anybody else this, but I expected this 100%. Dude, these tires are old as hell. This one's on, the rest of them are on. That door needs a little bit of fixing. All right, guys, we are in Grand Junction, Colorado. We got a new tire on the Humvee. The bad news is that was our last spare tire that we had, but we're getting ready to hit the Colorado mountains, and I'm gonna try to survive the night in the middle of a snowstorm in the Humvee. Yeah. This is stupid. There's f***ing deer. Oh dear. <laughs> Where's a four extra fat sleeping bag? What is that? What? Where's this one? I want this one. There you go. 40 degrees. And this one's designed for zero degrees. That's so I'll be perfect. Give us a good old test room. Yep. This'll work. Be snowing, so I'm not sure why I'm gonna need a cooler, but I'm gonna get one. That's awesome. I know. We just need to sew the smoke stain right onto it. Dude. That'd be great. Next merchandise drop, Harry the Dolphin. How does this make any sense? To go and live without a house, you think it would be cheap, right? You know how much all that shit probably cost? That's probably like $25,000 right there. Where do we pay for this junk at? We'll call that a success. I'm actually kind of worried about bears. I'm not. Are bears mean? Yeah, I'm but not, you're not staying there. I'm not worried about the bears at all. My doors don't lock. They do. I'll From lock the them outside, for you. I'll lock them for you. Then I'm locked in the Humvee. That's unfortunate. Where'd I put the Humvee? Did it get stolen? Please yeah. tell me it got stolen. You know what? The thing about it is I started off this whole adventure like I love military vehicles. I don't love military vehicles no more. Okay, so you see this cart right here? This is what $800 of dollars worth of a at Cabela's to get you. We got a cooler, backpack to put all of our junk in. Ooh, we got a chair so I can sit down and be comfortable. Sleeping bag so I don't freeze to death. Last but certainly not least, I got Barry, my dolphin. Me and Barry are gonna hold down the Humvee overnight. I hate to break it to you, but Barry's gonna freeze to death tonight. Barry is not gonna freeze to death. Barry's not gonna make it. Man, I ain't gonna freeze to death, motherfucker. Make it. Listen here, 
I'll start to scare you, motherfucker. I will whoop your When you put this hat on, women want you. Look over there. Oh yeah, is that Weston? You're just supposed to stay over there for a minute. Okay, to the mountains we go. We're currently driving our very, very cold Humvee into a snowstorm. How's it going? I'm not hot anymore. Where are we? You are here, Bush Creek. Okay, so it goes up, goes that way, and then you turn left and go right over the top to Pearl Mountain. That's where we're going. We're gonna hit that tomorrow. It's getting dark on us, and I don't want to go up in the dark, so... I guess we're gonna find a place to camp and uh, see how cold it gets tonight and how much snow we get, and then try to go up that bad boy in the morning. So I think we go further up the mountain up there to where that clearing's at, and that's where we camp at. <laughs> Woo! Oh, hell yeah. It's been a long time since I've been camping with a fire. I like it here. We're ready to cook. If I could weld as good as I can put mustard on a hot dog, I would be the best fabricator you've ever seen in your life. All right, boys, welcome to my crib. Now, first off, I want to introduce you guys to our pantry. We got the barbecue chips rocking in here. We got the hot dog buns. And next thing, I got to show you my fridge. Now, this here is the nicest lifetime cooler fridge you'll ever see in your life, full of Aquafina Dr. Pepper. We can't afford it, but that's somebody else's. Let's get introduce you to the kitchen. Now, here we have a fully wood cooking stove. Now I know what you guys are thinking, this is expensive, I know it is, but I had it imported from Italy because I only believe in the best of the best. The living room's gotta be fire, and it is. I'm sitting here, I'm chilling when I wanna watch TV, wanna watch the bears coming up to get ready to eat me. Guys, I've showed you all the good stuff, but I gotta show you the best thing. Here's where the magic happens. Right there, sleeping bag. My coat is bundled up as a pillow. That's the bedroom. Also doubles as a Humvee sometimes it runs. All right. Get the f*** out of my crib. We're leaving. What? Yeah. No. Here's your GoPro. Unless you need to film anything with that. You can't just leave me with it. Well, there's my bed. Who's left me out here? Get in there. Barry, did you hear that? Dude, I don't like it out here. I don't like it out here at all. I will say, as much as I complain about it, as much is it sucks right now to do I never thought in my wildest dreams that I would ever be out here doing something like this and that is the coolest thing in the world so regardless if it comes out good or bad I got the chance to do it all right I'll get with you guys as soon as I get eaten by a bear or the Sun comes up either way good night boys It's 3 a.m. And it is so freaking cold in here. Oh my God. I got a zero degree sleeping bag and it's not doing any good. Like it's just so freaking cold. So, and it started to snow. It's snowing really good now. So uh, I can hear the snow hitting the roof of the Humvee. <sighs> Damn, that's cold. I think I'm gonna fire up the Humvee. Come on, don't fit me now. Oh yes. Yes, Humvee! I just kicked the lights on the Humvee. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is snowing good outside. I got the heater on, full power. I'm just gonna let it run. Humvee's killing my back laying in there. Well, it's not great, but at least with it running on the heater on full blast, it keeps me warm. Also, one more thing I forgot to mention. The Humvee is rolling. <coughs> Sorry. It's cold. The Humvee is running extremely low on diesel, so I'm going to take a couple of these jerry cans I got and pour some diesel in it real quick. Just heard a cow moo. Hopefully, it's not getting eaten by a bear. All them cows are mighty upset, which means there might be some close by. So I'm just going to get back in the Humvee and go to sleep. Well, that was horrible but to the humvee's advantage it, it, it did well i guess it started when i wanted to start it wasn't that comfortable
I will say, it sucked so bad last night, but this is freaking beautiful out here. Now, on top of going over a 14,000 foot mountain, it snowed on it. <laughs> All right. Let's pack up camp and go off-roading. All right, we packed up camp. I guess it's time to try to get up this mountain. Hey, that wasn't a snow drift. <laughs> Did I leave the ground? What? You mean to tell me Fred likes to jump? Dude, I knew Fred was good, but I didn't know Fred was this good. So here's the big thing. At the end of this trail, there's a big boulder field. And I know Fred can get across that boulder field and back. So, before we leave, we've got to conquer the boulder field. Oh, dude, she's climbing. Oh, our doors might fall off by the time we make it to the top, but we'll be good. Oh, shit. Yo, your back tire is fucking low. What? Back left tire is really low. He went over a bump and just like kind of landed, it like got flat at the bottom. It is really low. This would be a worse place in the world to blow a tire. Honestly, I think if we find some place to turn around, we'd probably go back because blowing a tire up here with no spare, like this is the only four tires we got that'll fit this bad boy like this. Dude, I ought to hit the water crossing with some speed. That's That should be our victory. This ball's on my face. Delete my browser history. I think it's holding there, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Next scene, either we're broke down or we're driving down the interstate. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, guys. I will admit, I got pretty sick sleeping in the Humvee overnight, but the Humvee drive is going well. Okay, I'll be honest, we didn't drive it all the way because I got terribly sick and I didn't feel like that tire on the... I didn't feel like messing with that tire blowing out over the top of the mountain, so we hauled it over the top of the Rockies. We're back on flat ground, but we're not going to stop so easily because now... We're gonna unload this and continue driving it home. The problem is we know these tires aren't gonna make it all the way home. But never fear, I've got a plan. Uh. I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me. Had to go run up a check. I got the message on me, you no flexing on me. My attorney gon' call and collect. Blessings on me. Before we left Utah, Josh said, hey, take my tires and wheels on my race truck in case you pull out all your other tires. So now we've got 22s on the Humvee. We're doing, we're cruising. We're doing 70 miles an hour right now. It is smooth. If it wasn't so loud, this right here would be better than a Mercedes G-Wagon. This trip has been something. It wasn't watching the fuel gauge. I'm like, why is it not running right? Look down, that's out of fuel. Oh, f is f diesel. We won't take fuel because we're on a hill. Drink up, Fred. I know. I was blaming this on you. This is kind of my fault. Me and Fred got this. You want to see Fred do something awesome? Did 
it spin the back tires? No. Oh. You know what? We'll just leave the awesome stuff until next time. Let's we'll just get home. Oh, f***. <laughs> oh, shit. Hold on.